start um, vietnam was on my wish list for a long time and uh, it was it was actually a uh, dream come true spending two weeks in vietnam in a very luxury kind of holiday uh, we stayed in the best of hotels and we had a car and a driver at our disposal so we traveled from south to north we have seen the entire topography of vietnam the beaches the delta the mountains and if you ask me about my favorite uh, i i like the city of saigon more than hanoi these are the two main cities and uh, I liked uh, Sapa Valley the most. Uh, we spent, we overstayed in Sapa Valley because we liked uh, uh, the cool mountain atmosphere. And went to the Hamong village and did a lot of shopping for uh, handicrafts. And Mm. Uh, of course, talking about food, there's not a problem. Food is not a problem for us because we eat everything. Uh, every day, I can live on pho, and uh, so is my family. Uh, Ban mi and pho uh, was, you know, keep kept us full most of the day. And overall, over and above the uh, five star breakfast we used to have every day and leave. Uh, what else? You ask me. Uh, people are very nice, very warm. Uh, language is a problem. They don't speak English. We don't expect them to speak English, but thanks to the Google Translator, we could communicate with them, even in small villages. And uh, it's a cheap. Uh, I mean, uh, things are cheap here, cheaper than India. We, we we spend millions of dollars, but <laughs> that's why uh, ten thousand dong is like equi equal to our thirty four rupees. So we found everything quite cheap here. Um, what do you want to know? Ask me. Any highlights? What do you liked? Any person? Any place? Anything? I said about Sapa Valley. Saigon, Hoi An, Hoi An was on my wish list too. Though so we could not spend much time in the Hoi An village, uh, we did the night market, and uh, what else? Nimbin was good. Things around Nimbin, yeah, the Cham, uh, Cham Dynasty, whatever leftovers we could see, that was one of the highlights. Did not expect uh, India, I mean Indian culture, to be there present there in Cham. I knew about Cambodia, I knew about Angkor Wat, but I didn't know about the Cham Dynasty and their Nisan. Nisan, their kings and their uh, there was a uh, Indian civilization here, and they still exist. The Cham people still exist, and they have. There are, there are still Hindus and Muslims among the Cham. And, uh, uh, the Ethnological Museum in Saigon, in, in Hanoi, I'm sorry, in Hanoi, it was an eye opener. We learned uh, about so many things about the tribes, different types of. Uh, there are 15 tribes here in uh, Vietnam. And of course the war museum, uh, though it was depressing, it was an eye-opener too. As a child, I heard about Vietnam War and uh, I never thought I would come to it. But nothing, I mean, there's no ravage of war. Uh, it doesn't exist in Vietnam anymore. It's a developing country now. People must have forgotten about the war. We haven't met any old people, in fact. People are young, very young. Uh, and it's a, it, yeah, it's a developing country. The economy is doing well, you can see. Uh, 
lot of manufacturing happening so they are not uh, it's not an agricultural uh, rural agricultural country anymore agriculture based and a uh, lot of consumption you can see people are uh, very westernized even in the villages except for the tribes you don't see people you know um, uh, that most of them are very westernized and they don't speak english but uh, in terms of fashion and clothing they are very westernized um, we have seen um, would you like to say something about the car journey which parts you liked anything long car journey yes most of vietnam is similar to india so we went from the plains to the mountains and we have a very good driver with us who is a yesterday we got to know that he is a university graduate and he has his own car and uh, very well behaved and he had uh, shown us his country and uh, never said no to any place where we wanted to go and uh, the journey was very good the roads are good uh, there's not much traffic like india and the sapa valley of course was a, was a highlight as i said we have overstayed um, overall it was good yesterday we could do some shopping in Hanoi and uh, today we are leaving holiday is over thank you sumita for a wonderful uh, update straight from the heart and really authentic and extempore i think people uh, especially across the world will love this thank you sumita for taking us through your experience of these last 15 days Uh, this is Peshwa Acharya signing off, and uh, thanks everyone. Thanks to all the people who made our holiday possible in Vietnam in October 2023. Bye.